Praise the Lord. This is Pastor T. And I just want to say hello to my friends uh, in my space. Amen. It's been a pleasure to have such beautiful people in my circle of friends. But I just want to share a short message to the body of Christ today. The Word of God tells us to be holy for He is holy. Amen. Our Heavenly Father has a desire that we, His children, would represent Him well in the earth realm. Jesus Christ is no longer living on this earth. He is no longer walking among Amongst the body of Christ, but he has left his spirit to live on the inside of us, and so we are his representatives here in the earth realm. My question to you today is, how are you representing Jesus Christ? See, we have to learn how to change and to turn from our wicked ways, amen, because there's no way that we can be wicked and holy at the same time, amen. We have to constantly die to our flesh, amen. Can I get an amen, hallelujah? We have to die to our flesh. We are constantly fighting against the flesh. We are constantly being pulled in a direction to do those things that are not pleasing to God. And guess what? It is bringing shame to our Heavenly Father. There are a lot of people that don't want to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior because of the way that they see many believers living their lives. If we getting high, if we drinking, if we partying, if we fornicating, if we're doing all the things that a lot of unbelievers are doing, but yet we're trying to tell them that they need to serve our Lord and Savior. Why would they want to? We need to change. Amen. We need to get back to a point in the body of Christ that we start operating in holiness. Amen. Because our Heavenly Father is holy. Message to my pastors. It is time out for closing our eyes to the sins that we see. I think about Eli, the priest. One of the things that he did, he knew his sons were in sin. He constantly closed his eyes to the sin. Oh, he may have said a little something here and there, but he never really put any discipline in place. When you think about being a pastor in the house of God, God has called you to shepherd the house of God. He doesn't want you to overlook the sins of the people, especially those in leadership. He doesn't want you to overlook the fact that Oh, this person may can sing good and they can play the drums well or the keyboard well, but yet you know they're shacking. But yet you know they're living in a homosexual lifestyle. We need to make some adjustments. Amen. God is tired of the body of Christ bringing shame to him. Amen. It is time for us to represent our Heavenly Father to the fullness. And the only way that it's going to take place is if we get back to applying the Word of God, if we get back to operating the way Paul did, because when Paul saw things wrong in the body of Christ. Oh, he addressed it head up. Amen. So it's time for us to address some situations. And I want to encourage you pastors, don't be afraid to speak the truth for people may leave. Amen. Guess what? If they leave, guess what? God will bring somebody else. You as a pastor cannot be afraid to preach the word of God, to come against sin in order to get the house of God in order because people may leave. It's not about that. It is about restoring the glory to the house of God. People no longer fear and respect the house of God or the things of God. And it is time for judgment to begin in the house of the Lord. So I just want to encourage people today to really take a step back and examine yourself, amen, and ask God to purify you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And in the process, repent and turn from those very things that are causing you to get out of the will of God. Don't just confess. Don't just say, forgive me, Lord, amen, but you must repent, and that is turning away from the sin. It's time, church, for us to get back into the proper standards that were set up for us to follow in the house of God. And the main standard that God desires for his body is holiness. We treat it like it's a sin, the word holiness. We treat it like it's a dirty thing. It's something that we're afraid of, but it's what God wants for the body of Christ. So it's time for judgment to begin in the house of the Lord.